the wonderful downtown community of Victoria, which, which is not too far from here. We will have her up here as often as we can. She was here for an open mic one night. I was very impressed. That's why I asked her to come back. Her name is Katie Marty. Uh, she's a singer-songwriter, and she, the tunes that she does cover. I went and saw that one, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I was just wondering if it ever got to him. <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't know if it did or not. <laughs> but it doesn't matter. It's a fun <laughs> person. She's got a smile on her face all the time. Her name's Katie Marty. Let's give her a warm welcome. We'll get on with the show. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, so I, I have to say that uh, I don't have any Christmas songs in my repertoire, like at all. <laughs> well, I uh, I kind of thought maybe I would try, and then I didn't. I didn't try. Um, thought I might and then I didn't but uh, I have a song that I've written recently about the election which is like the opposite of Christmas and uh, so I'm going to start with that Someone turn a light on I can barely see Thought I knew the way The streets are haunted and we Hold each other's hands It's a slippery slope And it feels like snow Susan cried her eyes out, and she never swears. It's the last night of the world, we deserve to be scared. Drink the fancy wine, we've been saving up from a dirty Do I have volume? Yep, do you want it up? Uh, pretty high, max almost. Yeah. Do you want me just to wail on her? Okay. I'll just hammer hard. <laughs> um, so I also. 
also recently wrote a waltz, just because, why not? Everyone should have a waltz, right? And uh, so feel free, by all means, if you know how. I don't. Um, and so I, I have this, this really cute thing I do where every song I write is super sad. Um, <laughs> why that is? I don't feel like I'm a very sad, so sad person, but... So I wrote this song thinking it was very lovely, a really happy, romantic waltz. And then the first person that I played it for said, holy crap, that's sad. Okay. Uh, sorry. And so I'm going to do a little, uh, I'd like to do a little, um, you know, sort of crowd, what's it called? Um, market research. So let me know what you think. Happy, sad at the end. See if you can decide. It's called Dance to the Day's Dying Light. Happy? Devastating? Cute? No? I mean, I think she's dying, really, is the thing. But I think it's kind of beautiful. She's going to go and, and see her love. And they're going to dance for all eternity. Am I really? I'm, I'm, a, I'm a messed up individual. Am I not? Yeah, <laughs> you just wait. Here come the blues. Um, so I, I, this, this next song, um, I live in, I, I lived in a small town for quite a while in Revelstoke in BC and, uh, which is gorgeous, isn't it? Yeah. And so what would happen was I would write these songs and then I would play them and I have a partner in Revelstoke and everyone knows us and we know everyone and, and I would play these songs and it would instantly kind of reflect on on my, my life and our relationship. People, people always assume that the songs that you write are about your life. And so I had to start getting creative because I really, first of all, I have not, it's a pretty boring relationship <laughs> to write about. <laughs> it's not very dramatic. So it doesn't, you know, create for very good songwriting. But um, also, you know, you don't always want to just talk about yourself. Sometimes you want to talk about things that aren't you. So, um, 
so I, I started doing some some sort of intentional songwriting. And with this song, uh, I, I just picked up the newspaper and took headlines from the day's news and sort of crafted this song as an exercise. And I, I liked what came out of it. Um, it was back when they were culling all the wolves and there were crazy forest fires. It was a couple of summers ago. Um, anyway, so I think you'll, you'll hear, maybe maybe you can we can play a game where you try to guess the headlines based on the lyrics. Um, but it's called Wolf. You're a wolf and you know Here you come and there you go And you're a wolf and you know Phones are lighting up. Off the hook. Keep those calls coming. No, but really, actually. Um, I was thinking, I don't know if there's a way to do this, but I was thinking that I would donate, um, like I brought, I have an EP and I brought some with me. Um, so anyone here that would like to buy an EP, um, sales can go directly to the food bank. But I was thinking we could maybe also put a link up on the YouTube video or something? Yeah? And then if people buy EPs, then I'll donate sales based on this day. Yeah, you know what I mean? Something like that. I don't know. I'm sure, <laughs> I mean, millions of dollars, I'm sure. <laughs> um, uh, I'd like to play that, uh, that song that I played last time, if I may. A Matt Anderson tune, um, and uh, it's it's still my favorite song. When I was here last time, I was saying it was one of my favorite songs to play. 
in the moment and it, it still is I love it it's uh, I think it's a really beautiful song but I also love representing our, our treasure Matt Anderson from New Brunswick um, not that he needs my help the song is called so gone now well, if I gave you a wish babe not happy but a good tune nonetheless maybe that's why it's a good tune um so 
so I'm just going to finish with a, a song that uh, is on my EP, which you're more than welcome to purchase. Um, and uh, I recorded it last year. I went back to New Brunswick to record with a bunch of friends and family. And, um, and I was fortunate to have a, a factor grant. Um, the Government of Canada puts these grants together for, uh, for it's called the Factor Foundation Assisting Canadian Talent on Recordings. And, um, and they're really outstanding. So if there is anybody in here that's thinking about um, putting together a recording, then I would highly recommend looking into Factor um, because they're very supportive and awesome and enabling. So this, uh, this song is about my grandma, who is 96, and we, we moved her into um, an assisted living uh, complex, I guess. And, uh, and we were all very concerned. It was a very dramatic event. We were worried about how she was going to make out um, in this new place, moving out of her home. And, uh, and she proceeded to crush it. Like, she, they've made her an ambassador. So she's like a greeter um, when new people come. And she has won the hallway bowling championship twice. Um, she goes on the bus, like they have a bus, and they just go on the bus. And she doesn't even really know half the time where she's been. They just like drive around and look at Christmas lights, or they drive around and look at fall colors, or they go to the pharmacy. I don't know where they go. They just go out, and she's so excited to, to go. So it's been a great move. But when I wrote this song, um, I, I wasn't sure. We were all a bit trepidatious. So it's called Home. Made a pile on the table of things I don't need anymore. Put a bag for the shelter by the door. Make a 
Thank you. <laughs> Thanks very much. Thank you so much for having me. And I look forward to hearing everybody else. Yeah. Over to you. <laughs> Did I? Well, no, no, no.